So it was, it was a very exciting moment. I was sitting down watching on TV with my mom and just, I saw my name on the, um, on, the, on the screen and she started crying and it was just a very blessing moment. What has it been like here this week, you know, uh, going up against all these guys that you've probably known for quite some time? Uh, what has that been like? It's very fun. We're just going out hard, play, I mean, being competitive and just having fun out there. Does it change the dynamic at all, having all the NBA guys in the practice watching you? Does it feel like maybe there's a little bit something more on the line or is it kind of the same for you guys? Um, it's more on the line, but just try to go out there and just compete and be yourself and just play hard and have fun. Tell me a little bit about your you know, evolution as a player. I remember you know, hearing your name from a very young age. People were talking about you as a top guy. Um, and then like it seemed like this year you kind of re-emerged a little bit. Can you walk me through like the last couple of years? Or what's that been like for you? Um, last couple of years is just been trying to stay in the gym and just just keep my head, just stay focused, just, just keep on grinding and just I just tried to prove myself this year. Do you feel like uh, people's perception of you changed at all, or has it been kind of the same throughout high school? I, I think I think it's changed. You know, I, I've been they've been saying I was inconsistent, but now I'm, I'm just trying to every time I step on the floor and, and kill. What do you attribute that to? Is uh, did you grow? Did you get stronger? Has a certain part of your game evolved? Has your mindset changed? I mean, what what, what allowed you to kind of emerge this year and you know uh, kind of solidify yourself as a prospect in this class? Um, I think just growing up, getting stronger. You know, my body felt better, but the different mindset was definitely a factor because just trying to every every time I step on the floor, just try to do my best and play hard. It seems like you know from following you from early age, you're you're not the most um, you know, demonstrative guy. You're not an extroverted guy. Does it take like a little bit of an adjustment for you, kind of going out there saying, "I'm gonna really dominate today," or does that come does that come for you naturally? Um, just come for me naturally. I just try to go out there and just play hard. For people that you know haven't seen much of you, how would you describe your game? What kind of player are you? Um. Uh, I'm about a four guy, you know, I can just post up, you know, hit the 15-foot jumper. I'm versatile. I can face up and just um, attack and rebound and all that. Yeah. How, how has the power forward position changed, you know, over the last few years? Um, it seems like 10 years ago, people would have wanted to kind of put you in a box as being a small forward or a wing. Um, now it's like being a power forward seems like it's like more in vogue. There's more freedom. I mean, how, how have you seen that, you know, the four-man position evolve? Um, the four-man position involved, you know, it's just more freedom. If you can do what you can do, you, they're allowing you to do it now. What's the next part of your, you know, your evolution as a player in order to, you know, become a more well-rounded guy? Just um, getting my strength up and flexibility and just having a consistent shot. Have you enjoyed the part of the process where you're one of the lone guys who isn't committed? I mean, what? how is that different for you? Do you enjoy, you know, being constantly asked about you recruiting? I mean, or are you kind of ready for it to be over? Like, what, what has that been like for you? Um, it's kind of, it's pretty good, you know, just, it's winding down now, so I'm just ready for it to be over, kind of.